Hi everybody, it's my voice, and today I'm going to be talking about digital painting and my improvement and a couple of my tips. The art I'm doing right now is one of my latest digital paintings. It's not quite done, but I don't think I'll ever finish it, so I'm just going to put it in this video. So I'm going to show a couple of my earlier paintings. The Blonde Girl is my very first digital painting, which I did while I was still doing Fire Alpaca. And I think it's alright for a first digital painting. I had more issues with anatomy, but I didn't really understand how to use my brush as well. I was only using the default watercolor brush in Fire Alpaca and changing up the, the settings on it sometimes. But I wasn't really using the brushes to the best of their ability, which is why I got Metabang, because I wanted to paint better. So part of my improvement is due to that, from getting a better program, from getting brushes that I really liked. So that's part of it, but I think one of the bigger things is that I stuck with it. I didn't give up because it was hard. I am still by no means perfect. I think I have improved, but I'm not perfect, and I'm going to keep improving, I think, if I stick with it, and I'm really excited to see where my art goes. So now for my tips. One of my tips is to find a program you like and get brushes that you like. So if you're using brushes you hate, it will be harder to create something that you like. And. I still haven't found a brush that I love that's like perfect, but I found ones that are better. So I say this, but it's important to remember that what makes good art is the artist, not the program. So you can have the best program, but still make bad art. So improve yourself as an artist, not your programs necessarily. So my next tip is use layer blending modes. On this painting the skin was just looking off and really desaturated and so I changed the layer blending mode and it was so much better. It was exactly the color I wanted or really close to it. So the way I do that to change layer blending modes is I duplicate the layer and then I change the mode of the top one and then change the opacity if I want to. So that can be really helpful. Um, another thing that is really helpful for me is painting in grayscale. I have trouble separating values with contrast, so grayscale can be really helpful for that because you don't use line art or color at all as a crutch, it's just value. One more tip I have is to use the hue sliders. So on Metabang it's Control U and I'm using it right now to change things. And I really like to use those just because you can change saturation and brightness and if you want the colors a little bit different that can be really good. My last tip is don't give up. Your first few digital paintings are going to be rough. It's not going to look amazing. My first painting is a case in point. Uh, but you just need to keep going. It will get easier. And you will learn. So keep going. That's all the tips I have. If you have any other tips that you want to share in the comments, feel free to do so. But those are just some things that I find helpful. And I hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to interrupt myself here. I'm really kind of disappointed because it didn't record my favorite part, which was the eyes and hair, or I guess I forgot to record it. 
Um, I'll show all of the work that I've done at the end of the video though, so you can see that. So that's the video. I just wanted to make sure you know, I'm not an authority on digital painting. I'm still very much a beginner artist. If you want to learn how to paint digitally, then I suggest going and checking out other videos on YouTube that are tutorials for that. I might make a tutorial someday. I don't think I will anytime soon, but we'll just have to see. Uh, thanks for watching. Like this if you liked the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more art related content.